What's clear is that, at a minimum, Trump and Putin have a very close relationship, which, when you're dealing with a former KGB agent, can be a dangerous thing in itself. In fact, Jordan Klepper has more. The news has been all over this Trump-Russia story like flies to borscht. Russia scandal. Russia scandal. The Russians are attacking our country. I must break you. To figure out what the hell is going on, I met with an ex-KGB spy, Jack Barsky. Born Albrecht Dietrich in East Germany, recruited by Russians, spied on the U.S. for 10 years, later defected, and never forgets an anniversary. I was meeting him at a location no one would ever suspect. Jack, you're ex-KGB. I am. I was. Komitet Gosudarstvo no Besnopasosti. That was the CIA, the FBI, the NSA, and what have you all rolled up into one organization. In other words, he was a mother Russian spy. What were your weapons of choice? Uh, there were no weapons. Gadgets? So there's really no gadgets involved. What about that drone? That's not mine. Could be yours. Is that our drone? DPs nowadays are always looking for a new interesting shot. Can we just cut the drone? We need to get rid of the drone. Uh... Maybe there weren't drones, but Barsky did have a few spy techniques he was willing to share, like how to check whether your mail was opened. You open this with steam, and then you close it again. Marking a wall with chalk to secretly communicate. Casually go around here and bingo, there's the sign. And how to burn paper with minimal smoke. They taught you how to burn paper. Yes. I think I know why we won the Cold War. What the what kind of spy is this guy? I was uh, trained to be sort of the intellectual spy. The guy who befriends other people, finds out about who they are and can they be potentially recruited, gets into uh, places of employment where they can have access to secrets and so forth. Part of uh, becoming a spy is just building relationships, right. talking to people. Right. I will cultivate you over time. We'll become friends. We play golf, we play tennis and eventually you'll let your card down. Now this sounds familiar. So how in bed is Trump with Putin? Like just the tip or even more something that we're, no one's comfortable with? I think he's been playing into his hands in some way. The end game is to create destabilization as much as you can in, in amongst the Western camp to make Russia relevant again. Make Russia relevant Great. again. Great again. Great again. You can put it on a hat. You wouldn't even have to change the color. And your target doesn't get any easier than Trump. You just need to be his BFF and he's orange putty in your hands. You become friends. You get to know people. Treat him to a fancy Vegas dinner. The behind the scenes video shows then businessman Donald Trump hanging out with the men now at the center of the Russia controversy. They will all be in your life. Make him part of your birthday celebrations. Emin, I can't believe you're turning 35. And ask him to sit next to you at a steak dinner. What's the difference between spying and dating? Oh, they have a lot in common. You just walked into this bar, right? And I'm sitting here and says, how, how are you doing? Oh, you like vodka? I like vodka too. What do you think? What do you think of the Russians? You strike up a conversation. KGB was just like yeah. Tinder before Tinder. How could the key to this whole Russian scandal boil down to loose lips and mingling? Well, our floozy president might give intel for free, but I'm a safety deposit box full of secrets. How would you get information out of me? Uh, let's have a few drinks. Let's loosen your tongue a little bit. I'm not that easy, okay? I can hold my liquor. Well, then you're one of those impenetrable sons of bitches that, uh, that I can't deal with. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> Good for you. Get ready to be disappointed, Mr. XKGB spy. To your health. You know, I could use it for my health. You got a problem? Yeah, the doctor said I have HPV shingles. Oh, Nostrovia. When I was in college, I worked as a waitress at Chippendales to just try to... You said waitress? What? Did you drink Negronis? I love Negronis. Here's a funny thing. I joined Nambla because I thought it was Mensa. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what they do in Nambla? Oh! <laughs> and then I just type in my password at that point. If it's at an ATM machine, then that's simply going to be uh, just my birthday, which is March 7th, 1984. I sunk a boat. Like just some dude's boat. I sunk it. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think you need to have some more drinks. Maybe America's overreacting. If Putin is anything like this guy, we're fine. 
He's fun. <laughs> All right, now I got something on you. What's that? An emblem. I see what you're doing. You're becoming my best friend. Huh? Thank you, Jordan.